hello and welcome today in this video i am going to review hide my wp which is a wordpress security plugin and currently more than 20000 26000 plus users are using this plugin it is available at code canyon i will share link in video description so let's see some details about this plugin hide my wp is number one security plugin for wordpress it hides your wordpress form attackers spammers and theme detectors over 26,000 uh, 26, satisfied customers use Hide My WP. Okay, so it also hides your WP login URL and renames admin URL. It detects and blocks XSSS, SQL injection type of security attacks on your WordPress website. So let's see how you can use this. First of all, you will have to download this plugin and then go to plugins page, click add new. Let me show you if you are absolute beginner then okay you are using hide my wp with either empty or invalid purchase code please enter your purchase code or deactivate the plugin okay so you can see this message because i have already installed this plugin so now i will have to enter a code once you will install this plugin you will see this screen hide my wp dashboard plugin get it now quick guide then intrusions settings okay so here you can see plugin settings after purchasing this plugin you will have to visit this settings page and you will have to enter your purchase code but let me show you when i install this plugin it immediately displayed this screen this is setup wizard right i believe this is a little bit confusing you can see we have light settings medium and high settings so under uh, under high settings we have quick fix guide 404 page template trusted user roles login query hide admin and some other op options so we can select setting or we can skip and go to settings we can proceed to last last step i will refresh this page again first i am going to enter my purchase code so you will have to enter your purchase code and then we have import options we can paste uh, our settings code or we can select a scheme we have light privacy scheme uh, which offers most compatibility then we have medium privacy and medium privacy quick and you can also see all these settings here on this screen when you will activate this plugin for the first time so simply enter your purchase code and select a setting i'm going to select medium privacy with more compatibility so let's try this one okay you may lose your current settings is it okay okay and now i'm going to save my changes you can also see some more instructions you can watch a video tutorial or then we have some instructions make sure you have a writable ht access file if you use apache or configure your web server manually then we have some more information let's save our changes your login address may change after importing new settings. Check out general settings tab for new address. Okay, let's click OK. So now let's visit general page to make sure we have correct login page. okay i cannot find anything related to my login page address if i type my login address let me show you yes i can access my dashboard then we have hide my wp dashboard let's visit dashboard page your website may be visible to hackers and detectors click on show fixes one issue have been detected okay your rest api is enabled web browser will detect your detect you are using wordpress okay next we have some more settings yes view intrusion page you cannot find anything Next, we have Trust Network. 
and finally we have settings page now if i visit basic settings uh, page you can see hide my wp login so my uh, wp login page is hidden so you need to remember new address to log in okay so this is my new login address hide my wp let's type default login address starting a uh, blog online.com slash wp dash admin so okay you can see this 404 error message because our login page is hidden let's try wp login.php address still we cannot find login page now because our login page is hidden so let's try hide my wp okay i cannot see my login page and this is a little bit confusing because it is not clearly mentioned which address I should use to, log, uh, to view my login page. Let's try this one. No, it is not working. Current login URL is this one. Okay, let's try this one. okay now i can see my login page so let me show you you will have to type this login address let me increase some font size after activating this plugin enter your purchase code and then go to basic settings page and you will see this address in my case i will have to use this address so instead of using wp admin or wp login you will have to type this address if i type this address i can see my login page but if i just type or enter wp dot uh, dash login i will see this error page 404 page so it means our wordpress login page is hidden it is working now i can type my username and password to log in okay next we have hide my wp admin folder and its files okay and then we have spy notify send an email to site admin whenever someone visits 404 page okay you can also enable this option then we have anti-spam enable hmwp anti-spam system you should enable this one then we have full hide option enable full hide mode disable if you use more than one domain currently this is a, a, an experimental feature then we have hide other files such as license.txt wp includes wp contents slash debug log and you can also disable di directory listings and hide other .txt txt files or text files then we have canonical redirect option so disable canonical redirect this is required when you want to use url queries you can also hide admin bar for untrusted users okay these settings are great currently next we have advanced settings under advanced settings page we have 404 template settings so use default 404 form theme or choose a custom page okay let's try, uh, try this one you can also choose a custom page currently i have not created a custom page for 404 but let's try this blog page let's if i set this blog page as my 404 and save my changes and let's visit and now we should not see 404 page but if i type this address i should be redirected to my blog page yes it is working now you can see i have been redirected to my blog page so you can also redirect it you uh, redirect users to your blog page 
using a custom page this feature is good next we have trusted user roles so you can select trusted user role we have editor author contributor and subscriber okay so administer administrators are trusted by default okay then we have replace mode hide okay how should we replace old urls use full mode with cache or partial quick these are advanced settings you should not change all these settings if you don't know what are you doing then we have customized ht access option choose this option only if you have a customized ht access and don't want to allow hide my wp update it frequently okay this is advanced settings then we have manual configuration options we have cdn path settings our email address sender name and some other options okay then we have permalink and url settings okay we can also change templates new theme path by default it is yeah they are using skin then we have new style name normally wordpress use style.css as the theme uh, for the default uh, style the uh, style name but now we are using main.css save minify then we have new wp includes path which is other new plugin folder extra or module we can also use modules wordpress use plugins uh, let me show you if i visit themes page okay we have themes.php we can view all our available themes then we have rename plugins option so change each plugin folder name with a code name require new plugin path new upload path by default wordpress uses upload and you can also it uh, hide my wp is using file then we have post comment and some other options so this plugin has a lot of features and you can easily hide your wordpress from attackers then we have source code settings you can compress your pages you can disable minify you can simply use simple minify option or quick minify you can also remove comments and white spaces from html then we have some other settings about css and javascript under firewall and trust networks we have id options we can change our alert email okay you can even monitor admin activities by checking this option if you have multiple administrator for your website you can monitor their activities as well you can also check this option to monitor, uh, monitor your cookies values log thread and some other options you can also block ip addresses this feature is great if you have been receiving a lot of spam comments from some addresses you can add their ip address in this field to block them so they will not be able to access your wordpress website then you can uh, use this custom message for blog users you can even block countries so you have this option block countries code visitor from these countries will be blocked use iso2 code list separate with eg us uk ca so you can view this code list if you want to block some countries you can easily block any country and then finally we have replace tools okay you can also replace in html do not use this to change urls use b slash and slash okay for the slash you will have to use this 
and this code then we have based on OSCS multiple lines query may work or not so please check then we have auto configuration settings automatically hide popular plugins if they were installed but this feature is experimental after making all these changes you can click save changes button so overall this is a great plugin and it is not difficult to use it is very simple and easy to use plugin so i hope now you have a better idea of all the features of uh, this plugin is featuring and plugin is really affordable you can get it from code canyon you can find link in video description it costs only 29 dollar it is not expensive at all and it is offering a lot of features you can even block countries and some other settings then we have this easy option to hide our login address and keep in mind you will have to use this address in my case i need to use this, this address but in your case and uh, this address might be different but you will have to copy address from this page simply go to basic settings page and then find your login address otherwise you won't be able to log into your wordpress dashboard Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel for more WordPress and blogging related videos.